Hey everyone, so as you would have noticed, um, if you have seen the last video, um, yeah, so you would notice that I've decorated the cover of my March Magic um, journal. And also that my journal, if you can see, is really filling out. Now this is uh, Tomo, River, Tomo, Tomo, yeah, Tomo River paper. So it was a really thin journal to start with anyway. So um, for this kind of journal, using this type of paper, it's really bulking out. Um, and before I do my flip through, I just want to say that this has completely just, it's been more amazing than I, I imagined in different ways. Uh, let me explain that. Okay, so a big thing for me is being consistency. This is the first project where I've had to be consistent because other people are relying on me to be consistent um, for, for the uh, March Magic um sorry for the dream create journal group so we're doing march magic in now i'll leave the link below some people are um have started at different times so we'll finish at different times um but still i've obviously wanted to keep ahead and do this for myself just as much as for for everyone else if that makes sense um so the point of this is is to be consistent and to spend a little tiny bit amount of time each day over a larger chunk of time on focusing, so sorry for a month, on focusing on a dream. It was meant to be one dream because I didn't want to over, over complicate this, but I have kind of focused in on two um, because they kind of marry together and they're both equally as big um, dreams for me. Um, I've got the weirdest cat, honestly. She keeps me out. She brings me my slippers. It's so funny. She just brought well, she brought my slippers upstairs this morning, um, and now I'm downstairs. She's brought one of them downstairs. I, and I, she's. I think she's trying to bring the other one. So you might hear her, her meowing and purring in the background. So anyway, yeah. Um, cover. Um, this says, "Your word is your wand. The words you speak create your own desti destiny." And that's by Florence. Florence Scoville Shin, and she is one of my most favourite authors. Um, she's passed on now, but she was an author in the early 1900s, and her book is just amazing. Um, so I, in here, I keep my, it's like I keep um, an affirmation card, which is relevant to me. That's expectation at the moment. And I keep like obviously little cards um, as well that have meaning. This is from a good friend of mine. It says, okay, let's do this. And it's really relevant and it matches as well the colour scheme. Um, so we're focusing, for me, um, I'm focusing on a couple of things. Um, this picture is to capture not the house, but um, the essence of the house um, that I am hoping, wishing, dreaming for. And... I, and I've got my um, commitment here. Now, if you've seen my last video, you would have seen these pages. Um, and I believe you would have seen up to about here. Um, so we step things up by including um, gratitude for each day and on top of the all the other prompts. Now, the thing, the reason why this has been a big thing for me in ways that I didn't really realise that it would be is because of again like I said the consistency and just the way the synchronous there have been synchronicities really big syn synchronicities actually but the way that this has been to try and put into words why this has meant so much so far um is because I have learned that I if I really really want something if I really really believe in something then I will be prepared to dedicate so so much time so like just even if it's just 20 minutes a day but even in that after that 20 minutes it's important to either carry this around with me or to have something with me um that will prompt me of my dream now it's also about changing mindsets as well so um and changing and changing your habits and forming good habits um so it's been radical for me in the sense that i've had to do this every single day and it has changed me you know and that is the point to realize our dreams we do have to change not change sorry but be the person that we are meant to be which means unlearning stuff that we've been taught that doesn't benefit benefit us at all 
um, like limited, limited beliefs and all that sort of thing and become that person that we are meant to be because you are unique, there's only one of you and no one else can be you. Um, now, what day was it? I faced a big fear. I can't remember. I know it's on a Monday. So I faced a massive, massive fear. I'm going to go. I'll go for it, and I'll find it. But yeah, during this uh, month, I found like the tiniest, tiniest bit of courage, and I leapt on it. I took advantage of that, and then I did the thing that I dreaded the most. And it's really, really personal to me, so I'm not going to share it. But it was really. A big deal for me. Now the reason why I'm not sharing it, it's not only because it's personal, but I just feel that it's a fear to me where and other people would say that that's nothing, you know. But it was it was a big deal to me and you will find that for yourself. You will have fears that you know that other people aren't gonna understand. Um so you know you, you want to keep that personal, you might want to share it, but this fear of mine is rooted in not being able to get the help it's real it's, it's actually making me well up thinking about it it's, it's so i can't believe it's still raw now but i didn't get the help that i needed when i was growing up for certain things in school for say for instance maths that's been a big deal for me but because of that because of, and i remember specifically you know getting told off by all the closest people to me and and, and my teachers for not understanding something but I just couldn't understand it. I couldn't make myself understand it. And no matter how hard I worked, I couldn't understand it. So I, I gave up. I gave up in the middle of school because I just thought, no matter how hard I pushed myself, no matter how hard I tried, everybody will shout at me because I don't get it. I just don't get this thing. So what is the point in trying? And then the rest of my school life, that's how it was. You know, I just didn't bother trying because I just didn't think it was worth it. So I was getting shouted at for trying really hard. And it hurts still thinking about it. And my fear was is rooted in that. And um, the fear of not just getting it wrong, but not getting the help that I need, not having that person, a physical person there saying, it's okay, um, I'm here to help you. I'll help you. I'll try my best. I might not understand it all, but I will help you um, and do my best to help you. That it's just having that person that would have made all the difference so I've had to really work that out on my own and face that fear alone and I think that's key to realizing I know it's key to realizing my dream it was a block a massive massive block and then and it wasn't until I started doing this that I was able to face that block um, still really raw um, but I'm hoping that now that I face that I can heal um, so yeah it's really 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 life-changing stuff um, and I didn't realise how powerful this actually would be to me. Now, um, okay, so we're on imagination. Um, okay, so imagination, I, I won't make this too much of a long video, but imagination is another thing. That's something that we are taught when we're growing up. You know, use your imagination. You know, you can read all these books and you're taught fairy tales. And then you come up to a point in your life uh, as you're growing up where... You're, the adults around you, and it's not their fault because they were taught the same, but the adults around you say, right, stop, time to grow up, face reality, do this. And you're you're almost like you're, you're yanked out of this one world and then thrown into the other world completely unprepared. And you're like, what is going on? Um, and that happened to me and we we moved at the same time as well. It was like my whole world just fell out from underneath me. And, and that was the beginning of it all for me. It was just... Oh, it was awful. Um, if I could do high school uh, all over again and change things um, and have the the things that children have now in, in schools in place, I would do it. But back then it was just horrendous. Um, but we just not encouraged to carry on with our imagination. Uh, it's it's getting that way now where we are being encouraged. There are more and more people saying, no, you know, they're bringing back imagination. So you can see how it's all um, learning stuff that... Um, we've been told that we have to do um, like so so after childhood after a certain point in your childhood you know you, you're told to let go of imagination I'm here to say you need to pick imagination back up again because actually imagination is uh, a critical 
part, a crucial, sorry, part of who you are. It's a tool that you have been given when you were born and um, to use in your life. And it's a very, very powerful tool. Um, so yeah, and, and I think there's a lot of shame surrounding imagination when you're an adult. Um, but fortunately, fortunately that is changing. I feel that that is changing anyway. This is personal. Hang on, let me see what I wrote. It's not really that personal. You know, I'm going to share it anyway. It says, basically, I realise that I now need to bring imagination into visualisation. You don't understand, you think you know this stuff, but then you sit down and you think about it. When, you're, when you give yourself that space in your life, just 10 minutes even, when you give yourself that space, and you'll find that if you do give yourself 10 minutes, you, you probably push that to, to about 20 because you need it. Um, if you really sort of like, opening up that space for yourself but yeah I was, you know just thinking I thought I knew this stuff and then all this came out you know to get um okay so I now realize that I need to bring imagination into visualization in a more powerful way and more often to also get more specific though not too specific for example I thought I'd specify the house the house but that is only more of a block yeah so what basically what I was doing was I was thinking I had to find the house um that I wanted, but no, it's the essence of the house. So it's to be specific about the, the, the things that I want about the house, not be specific with the house, but get specific about, um, so be specific about the value. Cause like, if I know what area I want to, area I want to move into, I know the rough uh, amount value of the house that I'm looking for. Um, by being or giving a specific number, if, um, it frees us to find the house in the area while having choice. Yes, yeah, so, it, it, so we're not hot, we're not limited. We're not blocking ourselves with one particular house. We're uh, freeing up. We're giving ourselves choice. Um, tied in with believe. Yes, yeah, so it's tied. This is where I brought in the other wish, which is my finances, because it was tied in with the house. So that's something that I, um, yeah, that's I sort of like married it together. So yeah, I've included finances. The next one was mindfulness. Now, mindfulness is really a big thing at the moment, but we don't want it to become too much of a cliche. Mindfulness, there are a couple of um, different meanings to it, like mind out how you're going, and then you've also got the mindfulness where you um, you stop your pause and you uh, become aware of your feelings, aware of your surroundings, and just take that moment um, to be mindful, to be present in the now. So um, it doesn't matter which one, it, this, this is just be mindful of your dream um so yeah and i include my gratitude now on the next one this is to gather to gather stories and i printed off stories from online and one i i'd already ripped from a magazine that i had and to have these stories of um dreams that have been fulfilled that are linked to yours in my situation is how getting a dream home um they're physical manifestations in your hand. These are actual dreams that have come true for people. And it gives you that sense of um, substance so you can feel it. And it really helps to boost your belief in uh, manifesting and believing for your dream to come true. Um, so I've included those. I have photos that have bring the essence of what I'm believing for. And I've also here... Um, I'm not going to obviously show it, but I've also written myself a check. I've written myself a couple of checks um, that of amounts of money that I'm believing for. I'm not just sort of like, it's not airy-fairy, I'm plucking a number out of the sky. These are related to certain things that I uh, need that amount of money for. So I've written a couple of these. Uh, one I've put in a box that I, I call it like a manifestation box. I put everything in there that um, is related to my dream and things that I'm believing for and I keep them in there. So I open it from time to time just to sort of like look through and see what has come true and, and what has yet to come uh, true for me. Uh, it's really, really, really good faith building tool. So um, that's what I have there. Um, and also, sorry, what I wanted to say about writing yourself check, if you haven't already, find, check out Jim Carrey's story because he wrote himself a check before he was famous and just a fantastic story, that one. Uh, then we have my, like a, oh, that was milestone day. Yeah, so we have a, a moment, sorry, throughout each, uh, throughout the month, a couple of moments where we have time to pause and reflect and sort of like 
take stock of what we've been through because if we don't have that we're just going to have overwhelm so we need those days where we just pause stop reflect and just note down what we got from that my day of reflection was my milestone day face to fear um oh and other big things happened on that day as well um which were quite amazing so yeah it was a brilliant day that and then um the next day is receive um now for receive we've i've put um i encourage people to gather pictures of photos again that either um of their dream or have the essence of their dream and then um have a and then write yourself a not enough it is an affirmation but it's like a, a declaration a receiving affirmation you know receive it i now receive my new house and financial in, increase under grace now put under grace because you want these things to occur in the right ways you don't want to get them through you know it's just a, it's a, just a way of, to guarantee that it's going to come through the right channels it's not going to come through nobody has to lose when you gain if that makes sense so you ha you can say uh, under grace or in perfect ways um, so it's just including that just really helps and I've just put now this is really interesting the, the pictures these pictures actually marry these pictures match a picture that I had by my bed I was flicking through houses and this picture particularly uh, matched the picture I had by my bed and 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 it has the essence of um, that picture if that all makes sense so it, I was like wow this this matches completely it was it was a matter I don't want to say I couldn't leave it because that goes against what I'm doing but it was just amazing it was a synchronicity a really big synchronicity for me just to flick through this I've been looking at houses for ages this never happened to me uh, like this before so yeah it was a big thing okay now we've got affirmations um, I wrote I for the affirmation I got um, something that you have to get something to do with your dream but it has to speak to you it has to have that added punch to it where it's sort of like really sort of like grabs you and you go yeah that's it that's the one you know to have that emotional impact on you um so that's what that one is now is the appointed time today oh sorry that's what that one is but this is also another one that i have because um this this actually this was used i want to say against me but years ago this was used to to trap me Somebody kept saying, it's today the day, it's today the day, to bring me into an entrapment. And now I've reclaimed that. Now is the appointed time. Today is the day of my amazing good fortune. This is my, this is, this will always be, always be uh, a very um, special one for me because of that. It's like reclaiming, um, reclaiming that freedom, uh, reclaiming those words from what that were used against me to entrap me and sorry this is my affirmation now I made a tag the next day is also to make a tag and this um, is going to be stuck on the back of this tag and then I can take this tag out um, that I made and I can carry this around with me if I don't want to take this out and I can keep this in the planner or wherever but it's to be visually provocative in the sense that it's supposed to have happy colours I got the idea for this tag from Lisa of the Lollipop Box Club um, she did a wonderful video on how to make stamp, um, how to make tags using the stamps from the box. So I, I, I followed her tutorial, made this tag for myself, um, and I printed this off. Now, if you're in my group, the the Dream Create Journal group, and you're doing March Magic, um, I've, I'm offering to print some of these off. Tomorrow is um, the affirmations. So you know, I'm offering to make uh, to sorry to create one of these so you can print them off yourself. It has, has my little logo there and the March Magic hashtag. So if you give me your um, affirmation, I'll create one for you to print off. So this is really, really personal. These are the last couple of days now. Um, I'm Today I'm starting, uh, I'm doing an, the uh, next prompt, but this is day for me, uh, yeah, sorry, this is day 15 and 16. This, that, I'm on day 17, I'm ahead. Um, and this was really interesting. This is about shadows. Now we really do, while we're focusing on our dreams, we need to, we need to, we do need to discuss difficult times. We do need to discuss the shadows because, I know it's a bit of a cliche, but without that, you you know, you won't see the light. And and it's sh shadows are they. You have to get desperate to follow to to want your dream enough to put in the effort and the consistency to follow those dreams and to make the changes and face the fears you have you know you have to come to that point where you want it badly enough and unfortunately for a lot of people that means going through shadows hitting rock bottom 
and going through struggles. And it doesn't mean just one struggle. I mean, you hit, you can hit rock bottom and then start climbing up, but then you also will come against more and more resistance. Uh, not more and more, sorry. You will come against more resistance, more shadows as you become more aware of who you are and, 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 and the shadows help you to grow. And the next day is about transformation, how we use that to transform. And it's a really good um, topic to put in the middle of the month to focus on how shadows create transformation. And then today for me is light. So we move from shadow to transformation to light. And um, that's a really important part to focus on when we're talking about um, realising our dreams. Um, so uh, back here I have a little envelope. It's this image I printed off. I came across this. This was, um, this was serendipitous, I think you call it. So I printed it off. Um, and I stuck it in my envelope and in my envelope I have put extra photos and other bits and pieces that have meaning to me that I've picked up along the way this month and keeping the envelope. I'm creating a folder for these things to put in my traveller's notebook. I actually, once I've finished this, I'm moving into a B6. Um, I've ordered a new B6, I've never used B6 before, so I've ordered a tra new traveller's notebook and I'm going to be keeping up this kind of journaling every month because it's so transformational, basically. It's just been amazing. It's been, um, I can't believe, I don't like saying I can't believe, but it's been, I'm halfway through the month, I'm, yeah, halfway through the month now um, with this. Uh, we're not, I'm not actually halfway through March, but I am halfway through this March magic. And it is definitely something that I want to keep up because once I've created the habit of making time for it each day um, and because of the transformation it has brought and the synchronicities and all the other good stuff, I don't want to stop doing this because my dream could happen today. It could happen tomorrow. You know, it could happen at any moment now. Um, so, but once our dreams are realised, we have others. So, and it's, this is good for your growth as well become more you and for your um just your general well-being anyway so yeah it's just been so it's been one of the most powerful things i've ever done and the key is the consistency and this brings me right back to the beginning when i was saying about consistency if there's anything that i've learned from this it is to be consistent in giving yourself that time 10 minutes a day if you just do 10 minutes um then you can and if, and if if there is stuff happening in that 10 minutes and you want to give yourself a little bit extra time and you can then do it because it is it's just it's just been amazing so anyway um that's me rambling now so that's my flip through and a little explanation um i don't think i've left anything out if you have any questions just pop them below and i'll try and get back to you and um if you are interested in March magic you don't have to do this in March you can do it in any other month it's on the dream dream create journal blog um, I'll link to that below um, yeah so thank you so much for, so much for watching and until next time take care bye